Welcome back, everyone, to Duckman Cycles and VW Garage. I'm your host, the Duckman. Ha <laughs> ha! Everyone keeps asking for more of Eleanor out in the sunlight, and well, here we are. This is a special treat because it just keeps on raining, and wouldn't you know it, to date, for 2022, Pensacola is now the rainiest city in the U.S. So I hope you guys appreciate this video. It was a really difficult one to get made. In the last video, I said I would put the rear fenders on, and as you can see, well, that didn't happen. So today we're going to unwrap these fenders and get things lined up and see Eleanor complete for the first time since Earl from Classic Car Creations completed all the beautiful paint and body. Well, don't forget to licky, likey, comment, and subscribe, and stick around for a message from our sponsor. It's a fun one. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll be back right after the intro. And before we continue on to our video, we'd like to thank our sponsor, Bespoke Post. Hey you, do you like nice stuff? What the hell was that? Do you like nice, useful, quality products? Yeah? Do you work hard, play hard, and come home tired and wish you had a little something just for you? Where are you? Never mind that! Just answer the question! Yes? Well, if you're a deserving person, then Bespoke Post has something for you. Bespoke Post is a membership club that is free to join. Each month they send a box loaded with top shelf products from smaller but soon to be famous brands. Don't you own a small business? Yes. And aren't you an American? Also yes. Well isn't it nice to know that 90% of the Bespoke Post products that are shipped come from small businesses and many of them are based right here in the USA? Wow! Yeah! Each box has about $70 of value packed in, but you only pay a fraction of that. But how does Bespoke Post know what I like? Good question! Simply take the Bespoke Post survey on the website. It's really simple, and each month you'll get something different based on your preferences. And what if Bespoke Post still sends me something that I don't like? Oh, we got a smarty pants here. Each month you get to decide if you want to keep it. You can swap it for a different box, or skip out the month completely. That's right, no commitment. You only pay for what you keep. Well, I guess if it's free to sign up with no obligation, I'll give it a shot. Hurry up! I am hurrying. So, what'd you get? Well, the first box we got was the Weekender bag. I always find myself with a bunch of stuff for prepping my car at car shows, and usually it's hard to hide it all. Now I can just hide it all in plain sight, in the bag. This will also work whenever I do any camping or travel, because suitcases are just too bulky. Is that a duck? The second box I got was a brew, and this one I'm really excited about. This is a beer making kit. I'm a beer snob and I want to custom tailor one that appeals to my taste. This allows me to use what is included or experiment and share results with my friends. You will be seeing a lot more videos of this one coming up in the future. The third box I got was a parked compact camping chair. Very nicely constructed product, solid, stable. Well, Bespoke Post is currently offering 20% off of your first box, so please click the link down below in the video description and enter DUCKMAN20 as your discount code, or visit the website at bespokepost.com forward slash DUCKMAN20. So thanks everyone for watching, and a special thanks goes out to Bespoke Post. And no ducks were harmed in the making of this video. <laughs> As I said on this car, I'm doing everything nice and slow. We're doing it my way. The reason for that is because you gotta treat things very, very delicately. Me, totally a bull in a china factory. Just totally bull in china factory. So right now I'm protecting some of the painted areas here that might get a little banged up as we put the fender on. Typically it's that spot, and then just over the fender, on the top of the places that I come in contact with. I've never hit anywhere else. Well, that should be enough to get it. We got a blanket down here on the ground. We got all of my bolts available to me right here. And then is that sun hot. And I guess it's better than uh, the months, months of solid rain that we've had. There's barely a cloud in the sky right now, but I can't say that it's going to stay that way. <laughs> the Pensacola is officially the United States' rainiest city. 
as of 2022, totally blowing away Mobile, Alabama. And yes, you probably notice I'm putting this fender down upside down and I'm sweating all over it. The reason for the blanket being on the ground here. There we go. Now the front fenders I put on using the same method. They're also easiest to take off this way. I usually turn it in about here. Just like I don't that. remember if I said it previously, but it's recess at the school, which is a block away. So if you hear kids screaming, that's what that crap is all about. I thought I was going to have to take the wheel off of this. I guess not. I guess I set the suspension up a little higher than I thought. All right, I'm going to put in one more bolt for good measure. Right under here. I need to run a tap through that one again. Looks like I got a little paint in it. And there it is, we got us a fender. Use our tape to come back off. And we'll reuse it on the other side. All right, now that's progress. That really changes things. Oh man. Now she's showing her shape. Yeah, the rear suspension is mighty high, but no engine in there currently. And that will, of course, change things too. So before I start playing with the suspension, which actually on here is really easy to adjust because I got adjusters in the, in the floor pan that will turn the torsion bars for me without having to tear everything all apart. So yeah, all right, we got one more fender. I'm gonna suck it up and go out here in the daylight again. It's amazing that uh, it's just the sun is so bright, but I haven't seen it in months. I certainly haven't spent any time in it in months. Oh boy, <laughs> not excited getting over there in the sun again, but yeah, let's get this thing done. You guys want to see it, I want to see it. That's what it's about today. Here we go. Kids are screaming. Sun is shining. <laughs> that just reminds me why there's such a thing called birth control. Yep. You know, the plus side about these is they don't rust. They are fiberglass. But the downside about them is the fiberglass. <laughs> I'd rather have tin fenders on here, but I bought these when I was a teenager, way back when, in Tampa. Well, you know what, it wasn't Tampa. It might have been Tampa, I don't remember now. I can't remember if I bought it from the vendor directly or if I got them from uh, Fisher Buckies. Waller out that hole just a little bit wider. It looks like there was a little bit of resin or something in the hole. We're going to do a little touch up with these fenders to make them a little more solid. There we go. Now we're going up and over. the rest of my fender bolts. I don't know where I put them. Got a whole bag of them somewhere. There it is. That right there is the money shot. Yep. Now I'm gonna have to get out a grease pencil and put some marks on those fenders where I'm gonna put those tail lights. Earl didn't want to drill the holes for it. I don't blame him. It's gonna be more of a you know whatever I feel like they're gonna be kind of thing. So we're going to use my eyes to adjust them to where I want them, and I'm going to try to make them look like they're in a stock location. I'm not going to do anything goofy, but man, that really just filled the car out. She doesn't look so tiny anymore. She actually looks bigger, more full. That's incredible. And this is the first time I'm seeing it with all the fenders on it. Wow. Oh man. Yeah, no sooner <laughs> we got her outside, we got a light sprinkle of rain starting to come down. A couple of big drops here and there, the sky has clouded up, and well, I'm not going to do too much more before we push her back in the garage. <laughs> Story of my life right here. Hey right, guys, look at that though. Oh my god. Wow. 
Earl really outdid himself. Thanks to Earl of Classic Car Creations. Just, just wow. Next, we're gonna address that handle. I'll probably pull the fenders back off before I get to it because I don't want them things banged up. So we'll wrap them up and put them back inside the car. You look, things are already starting to fall on here. Environmental fallout, oh my God. <laughs> you know, there's a raindrop. Hey, hope it's not tree sap. Let's find out, nope, it's rain. Yeah, there's a raindrop. She loves her rain, that's for sure. Look at that beautiful car. Oh my God, yep. And no sooner I got the car back inside, look what happened. Yeah, are you surprised? <laughs> oh, dark man, you don't know what you're doing. Dark man, oh, dick man. Oh, you can't do nothing right. You're probably not even gonna go ahead and paint up the hole when you're done with this, are you? You're gonna leave all that bare metal exposed and you're not even gonna try to stop it from rusting because, dark man, you're a dum-dum. Oh. This was a hole that Earl left me so that way I had a little something to do for myself. It's a little less than perfect because this is an aftermarket deck lid. Oh, there it goes, and it's in. Didn't fit at all before, and it might be because the hole got smaller because of paint, but I, I took some metal off, so it's not just that. The hole is actually a slightly different shape. That is a good fit in there. That thing fits real snug. There's our handle. It's gonna go through there just like that. And I got a nice locking one. And that way I can keep people from stealing my engine bits. Because as I mentioned to Rob recently with the Volks rod, you gotta lock that car, Rob. Don't leave that car around without being locked. Because people like to mess with unique things that they see. They'll start pulling on door handles, they'll start messing with your engine, and if you don't keep your car with an eye shot, or at least lock it up, somebody's gonna do something really stupid to it. Then you're gonna wonder, what the hell happened here? This looks good. I guess we can take that tape off now. Let's see what it looks like. Here it is. Dark man, you have no idea what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, there it is. It's a little bit crooked. It's going in kind of that way. And that's because the holes are not in alignment. Again, aftermarket deck lid. So what I'll probably do is, and you can see it that way, really obviously. Actually, that's really bad. Really, really bad. Oh, I think the inner part on the deck lid in here, the, the whole thing, it just wasn't welded in straight. Good damn idiots. Probably made in China. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna have to uh, dink with that. What I'll probably do is the hole on the inside here, I'll uh, wallow it out so it's straight. And I think that this latch in here, the whole black latch, is actually what centers this thing up anyway, and I don't think that hole matters quite so much. So I'm not too worried about it wallowing it out and then it doesn't fit right. And if it does have an issue, I can make some kind of a bushing or something for it. I don't think that's going to be too big of a problem. All right, well, that's something. Good. Yay. Yeah. Doesn't open and close right anyway. Oh, I see why. Because it's not tight. You have to tighten up them nuts. Dark man, tighten up your nuts. All right, pulling that back out. Look down in there. And you can see that hole is way off in the, uh, you know, like 10, 11 o'clock position. So clearly, it's crooked. And we'll straighten that up. That's not too big of a deal for a guy like me, is it? No, not at all. <laughs> well, I guess it's going to be it today because no sooner I reassembled the T-handle, it started to rain all over again. It'll be dark soon, so I guess I'm done for the day. So please take a moment to say thanks to our sponsor, Bespoke Post. Please visit bespokepost.com forward slash duckman20 and sign up for your free membership account. And use the discount code duckman20 for 20% off your first box. 
Thanks for watching, everybody. Licky, likey, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you the next time my driveway isn't a waterfall. Take care, guys.